to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. Government is seeking to simplify the administrative processes and procedures for goods entering and leaving the country. In 2009, Cabinet gave permission for the establishment of a port community single window to increase St. Lucia's competitiveness. In a thrust to improve St. Lucia's ease of doing business ranking, the government of St. Lucia has focused on trade facilitation and domestic and commercial goods in and out of the island ports. Government is seeking to implement what is termed a port community single window, which will electronically harmonize and standardize information relating to the clearing of goods. According to Trade Facilitation Officer Suzette Louis-Jean, this system is going to make trading easier and in order to be competitive on the global market, we have to make trading within our borders a lot easier for investors. She further stated that the World Trade Organization, WTO's Trade Facilitation Agreement, makes it mandatory for all its members to establish a single window. Developing countries like St. Lucia stand to benefit from this trade facilitation agreement, of which the single window is a major component. The Sufra Regional Development Foundation, SRDF, has announced the opening of three additional pools to its operational site at the Sulphur Springs Park. The project was conceived with the primary aim of responding to some of the concerns of congestion and demand from operating a single pool, particularly during the months of increased visitor arrival. In addition to increasing the number of pools at the Sulphur Springs Park, the operational hours have been extended to 11 p.m. daily. Official statistics record overall unemployment in St. Lucia has declined. Unemployment for the fourth quarter of 2018 was 7 percentage points less than that of 2017, dropping from 23.2% to 16.2%. Overall youth unemployment has reduced by 2.2% from 38.5% to 36.3%. This has been your Midday News Brief. Join us tonight at 7 where we bring you the NTN Nightly News with Nisha Charles. Thank you for watching.